And just into our newsroom in the last hour and a half, Vice President Kamala Harris releasing a statement on the deadly mass shooting that took place yesterday in Allen, Texas. She says in part, quote, all Americans deserve to be safe from gun violence, but they are not. Tonight, witnesses still shaken, fearing nothing will change after yet another tragedy in America's history books. And tonight, those images hit too close to home. Good evening. I'm Claudine Ewing. One week from today marks the first grim anniversary of the mass shooting at Tops here in Buffalo. And tonight, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown continues to call for change. Two in your size, Andy Payton joins us from the newsroom with more on what he had to say about the nation's latest mass shooting. Andy? Claudine, according to the National Gun Archives, there have now been 199 mass shootings in the U.S. in 2023. More shootings than days this year. And yesterday's tragedy has Buffalo's mayor calling for action. Tonight, the nation left to reel from yet another mass shooting, this time in Allen, Texas. After 33-year-old Mauricio Garcia seen here on dash cam video, pulled up and opened fire at an outlet mall yesterday, killing eight and leaving seven injured. The latest tragedy causing flashbacks for many in the Buffalo community, nearly one year since the May 14th devastation. So this problem is not getting better, it's getting worse. Investigators revealing another heartbreaking similarity to tops just hours ago, saying an extensive search of the Texas gunman's social media contained white supremacist and neo-Nazi related posts, and that the alleged shooter killed by police on scene was found wearing an insignia on his clothing that reads RWDS, believed to stand for right wing death squad. We need lawmakers in Washington to do more than they have been willing to do. The uncertainty for the Allen community this morning in all too familiar feeling for Mayor Byron Brown, telling two on your side this evening there needs to be sensible gun reform. There should be a ban on assault weapons. Oftentimes with these mass shootings, assault weapons are the weapons of, of choice. Saturday's events also once again shining light on a sad truth. No community is immune. I never ever thought there would be a mass shooting in the city of Buffalo. Couldn't, couldn't conceive of it. And as I talk to many mayors and elected officials across the country um, who have experienced it, many felt the same way, not here, not in this community. But those who have gone through it know that it can happen anywhere. And if we don't take action, more innocent lives will be lost. Now, as the Allen community tries to shift their focus forward this week here in Buffalo, the community still works to heal as it remembers the horrific events that occurred almost a year ago today. In the newsroom tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.